Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another foundation first impressions and the foundation that I'm going to be doing that first impressions on today is this one by Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation and this is in the shade 817 Light. I found this at my Dollar General and I figured I would give it a go because it's really cheap, really affordable, and it's cruelty free. Uh, vegan I think they're vegan I'm pretty sure and you can pretty much find this stuff anywhere so I'm going to be doing a first impressions on my face today um, all I did is just wash my face just to get all the um, you know dirt and oils out of my face now I'm just going to be applying this straight onto my face like I normally would with all my other foundations I don't have any primer on or anything like that I'm just gonna apply it straight away so I'm just gonna zoom you in and show you the packaging on this foundation just to kind of show you up close and more of what it looks like Okay, so here's what the foundation bottle looks like. It's just a really kind of small bottle. This was about $4 at Dollar General, and it just has kind of like this, the plastic regular packaging, and you can see the color uh, through the packaging as well. And I haven't even opened it yet. It still has like the little slip on it. So I do like that because that kind of gives me an idea of that it was sanitary and no one's been like putting their hands or fingers on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. And it just has the opening there where the foundation comes out. It does kind of have a big opening so I mean you would kind of have to be conscious to make sure that none of the foundation is just going to come spitting out at you. So but yeah that's basically what the packaging looks like there. Okay so I have zoomed you up and onto my face. Sorry if you can see all my acne but you know I'm human. So I'm just going to pin my hair back just so it's out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of the cap here. So I'm going to take about this much. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, the smell, it has a little bit of kind of like a perfumey type scent, but it's nothing bad. Um, it definitely feels pretty thick, definitely a thicker foundation. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this onto my face, blend it out, and then, um, you know, see how it looks. And to do that, I'm just going to be using a beauty blender to kind of blend everything out. I'm definitely glad I got the shade light because I feel like if I would have got medium it would have been too dark. It is pretty dark for a light pale foundation so just kind of be aware of that. Okay so here's what the first layer turned out like on my skin. Honestly I'm like not impressed at all. It didn't like cover anything and it was really difficult to blend out. I don't know if that was because there was like lack of a primer or I don't know but so far no, <laughs> like it, it was just very difficult to blend out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put a second layer over top of this to see if I can cover anything with this foundation. I'm not really sure. I feel like, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't, not very happy with this first layer. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of this foundation and put it over top of my skin. I don't know if it's because of like how thick it is as to why it's so difficult to blend out. Not really sure, but so far not off to a good start. Hopefully my opinion changes. Okay, and I'm actually going to use just a flat top foundation brush. This one is just by BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to try that to blend it out with this just to see if that kind of helps with the blending out process. Why, but as of recently, I've been enjoying using brushes for foundation much more than the Beauty Blender. Isn't that weird? This foundation just will not blend out. It's ridiculous. Switching back to my Beauty Blender to see if that helps with anything. Okay, so here's um, what the foundation looks like. I did about two layers on top of my skin. And I really, honestly, to be perfectly honest, I really don't know how I feel about this foundation right now. Uh, it was very, very difficult to blend out. That was the first thing. Like, you're probably still seeing, like, parts of foundation that just will not blend out. I don't know. It just kind of clung to my skin as soon as I, like, touched it. Um, and it just, like, I don't know. It just would not blend out. The coverage got a little bit better. Um, it does say that this is a 
medium to full coverage and it is a satin matte finish that's what it says on the on the back and then it also says it reduces appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates the skin um, from what I see I can still kind of see my little forehead wrinkles here and and I don't know what do you guys think of my skin like my skin just looks I don't know I look a little bit cakey I don't know if it looks like different on camera to you guys if my skin looks any like brighter or more awake to you as far as using a brush or a beauty blender I really don't know which one helped better because they were this foundation was just so hard to blend out in the beginning um, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that but for me it was just kind of difficult and it doesn't really have very good coverage because you can see literally like all of my blemishes still I mean granted you can't fully cover them up with makeup but I have foundations that do a like a much better job of covering up my blemishes so I think I'm just gonna finish I'm just gonna leave it at two coats and I think I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup and see how it goes throughout the day but right now maybe give it like two out of five stars I'm not really that impressed with it it is a little too thick and especially since it didn't really cover my blemishes that's kind of disappointing like I figured if it's gonna be that thick like it might as well cover everything so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup really quick um, I'll just do that on camera for you guys why not okay so for powder I'm just going to be using just a loose powder just by covergirl and I'm just going to very lightly just put that on top of my skin okay so I just did a very light um, like powder over just because this foundation is kind of a matte foundation so I don't really need to like load up on the powder and I just used um, it's not like a matte powder or anything it's just a loose powder so it's very light coverage uh, this is just the covergirl professional loose powder in the shade 115 I didn't use any concealer because I want to see how the um, how the foundation works on its own without concealer for brows I'm just gonna use my wet and wild brow pencil in taupe and just kinda just fill in my eyebrows like I normally do Pencils are amazing, aren't they? Like, look at that. I went from having no brows to boom, big bushy eyebrows. <laughs> so for my bronzer today, I'm using this one by NARS. This is NARS Laguna. I used to use this all the time, but I've been kind of obsessed with my Physicians Formula one lately, so I haven't used this in a while. So I think I'm going to use this today just because I haven't shown it in a video in a while, so, and I kind of miss it, not going to lie. This is like the perfect bronzer. It's amazing. Okay, just, so just to bronze my face, I'm just using a big fluffy brush. And just kind of applying it where I would normally put blush. And then to contour, I'm just using this little tiny brush by Eco Tools. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit more. And so right where that little indent is, is where we're going to contour. So I just kind of tap. Kind of squeezing the brush so it's got like a little thinner shape to it. And putting it just in that gap there. And I like to blend out my contour just a little bit and when if you are someone who does the same thing make sure you're blending upward and not downward because that's going to make it look really kind of muddy and just off-putting. And for a blush today I'm going to be using this one by Physicians Formula and this is the Happy Boost Warm Blush. This looks like that. Packaging super cute. And I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. Blush, blush brush to do that. So I'm just going to take a little bit tap off the excess and you are gonna put that right on the apples of the cheeks so like right in this area and just kinda of like that so we have a nice rosy cheek look okay so here's how our blush and bronzer is looking like right now looks really really good I'm really happy with it so and of course I'm going to be doing a highlight and I'm going to be using my all-time favorite which is this one up in this corner right here by Physicians Formula in this little tiny um, Physicians Formula quad and I'm going to be using my highlight brush by BH Cosmetics take a little bit of that tap off the excess and when you apply a highlighter you're gonna want to apply it um, where light would naturally hit your face so like right about above where you applied the blush is a good spot I've been like obsessed with highlighters lately and I would honestly like die if I could try uh, Jaclyn Hill's new one I think it's called Champagne Pop it looks gorgeous and I want to try it I'm also going to put a little bit down my nose 
And if you ever feel like you overdid it with the highlighter, or blush, or bronze or anything, just take your powder brush that you used before. This is just an airbrush powder by Sephora. And just kind of go over it lightly and just kind of blend everything out. Remember blending in an upward position and not downward. This just kind of helps tone everything down. Okay, and here is what my entire face makeup looks like completely finished over top of the um, Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation. I do think that my makeup went on pretty good today, even though the foundation felt pretty drying. I'll have to see how it like looks and works throughout the day, but... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Of course, you can definitely still see like a lot of my blemishes that didn't cover, especially these ones by my like chin and mouth area. Those didn't cover very well, but you know, what are you gonna do? I mean, people are gonna see them, you know, it's whatever. Okay, and here's what my face looks like from far away. So as you can see, um, you know, you just have like the, I guess my face looks kind of flawless, but I mean, a lot of my blemishes didn't cover, but I mean, it looks okay. And the rest of my makeup looks pretty okay as well. So it is right now, it is 5 to 11 in the morning. So I will come back in a few hours and kind of do a checkup on how everything is looking. I'm not going to apply any um, like setting spray or anything on my face today just because I want to see how it works on its own. So yeah, so here's what it looks like right now, 5 minutes to 11 in the morning. I'm going to film a couple more videos and then I will be back in a couple hours to see how it looks. But yeah, here's how it's looking right now. I really don't know how I feel about it yet. Right now I'm not really that big of a fan, so we'll just have to see how it looks later on. See you in one second. Hey guys, so it is now... 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, last time I spoke to you, it was almost 11 o'clock. So 12, 1, 2, about three and a half hours. It's been about three and a half hours since I've had the Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation on. And I'm actually going to end the video here because I want to take this crap off. I'm actually really, really disappointed in this stuff. Like, I just want it off of my face. I do not like it. Like, when I ended the video last time, it really wasn't that bad. Like, my skin looked okay. And literally, just like as the hours went on and as I was filming and things like that, it just looked horrible. It makes me look so cakey. Like, it looks like I'm wearing a mask that I could just peel off. Like, it looks terrible and I'm actually kind of embarrassed that I'm going to zoom in in a second and actually show you. And another thing that's weird is I look really oily, but when I blot, nothing comes off nothing like clean tissue like nothing comes off like it's literally just like masked and caked onto my face like I give it about two out of five stars the reason for that is I like that it's cheap I like that it's cruelty free and I like that anyone can get this pretty much anywhere what I don't like about it is it's thick it was incredibly difficult to blend out and it made me look like I dipped my face in frosting. I didn't have any primer on and like all my other face makeup, I just did a light layer of powder. So I don't know if it was me. Of course, there's are, there are going to be people in the comments who are going to blame me saying I'm a shitty, you know, makeup application person. But, you know, whatever. People are going to say I suck no matter what. So, yeah, I'm going to zoom in and show you what this did to my face. <laughs> okay, now I don't even know if you can see on camera, but... Like, I just look so cakey, and I just don't like it at all. Like, it just looks really, really bad, and I look super orange, like it oxidized really, really awkwardly. It just gave me a wrong color, and there's just certain areas where it didn't even blend out, like, at all. And, you know, you can still see all my blemishes. It literally rubbed off right here, as you can see, that awkward spot right there. You know, sometimes super cheap isn't always great. And Mm. And it sucks because I really wanted to like it, but this stuff and me are not friends. It just was not meant to be. I will use this another time and let you guys know how it works in a future video, but as it stands right now for this first impressions, two out of five stars. Like, not, not good at all. Just very, very, very poor quality. So if any of you want to give this a go, go ahead, but this is just how it worked for me. It may work differently for you. Like I said, everyone kept saying that it worked really well for them. Not the case for me, but that's all right. I'll give it another go um, another time and see how it works. Um, maybe when my skin's um, in a little bit better condition, maybe... I don't know, maybe my skin just wasn't having it today. Who really knows? But that was my uh, review on this Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it was. If you guys did, be sure to give a thumbs up. Let me know your experience with this foundation down in the comments as well. I'd like to know. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.